Hey everybody at Crosby Church, this is Big Tommy. I'm looking forward to coming next Saturday to be with your pastor and your men in Man Up, Building Authentic Men. Now what does that mean? It means that Christ-likeness and manhood are synonymous. That you can be a male by birth, but you're only a man when you choose Jesus Christ and to walk in His ways. I'm so excited to come in with you. We're not playing games. Wives, get your husbands there. Because you know what? We're going to build better husbands. We're going to build more committed fathers. We're going to build heads of a home. And men, guess what? We're going to see your maximum potential reach. God has a great plan and a destiny for all of you. Isaiah 61, I believe 7 and 10, is in season for this group. It says, I'll reward your shame with double honor, double prosperity, and that you'll walk in overwhelming joy. I believe it's a season of walking in overwhelming joy in maximizing your potential, being the man of God that God's called you to be. Dreams that have been dead reignited. Hopes that seem hopeless. All of a sudden, new vision, new life is going to come. God has an answer for each and every single one of you, and he's destined you for greatness. You hear what I'm saying? You've been destined for greatness. You can't tell me you've not been destined for greatness when the God that created the heavens and the earth is alive and inside of you. If God can hold the world together with the power of his word, how much more so your life? The same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead, it's alive and inside of you. You're ready to go. We just need to get you activated in the word of God and standing with other men and being able to be built up into the, the strong man of God you've been called to be. I was with the New York Giants just a couple of months ago and 40 men showed up at chapel and they were at the point of despair. The coaches said, Big Tommy, you've got to come and help us. We're about ready to get fired. Can you imagine that? They're playing the Phoenix Cardinals. They're about ready to get fired, and then they turn it all around, and they go to the Super Bowl. Well, I believe that that day, that chapel had something to do with it, because out of those 40 men, I looked at them square in the eye, and I said, listen, I'm not here to pray a little flaky rededication prayer, recommitment prayer. You know, you see those guys get the touchdown and get a little sign of the cross, it's like tossing God a bone after the play. I'm not here to just treat God like some magic genie, just rub him three times and poof, you get your wish. I'm here to find out who's serious with God. And I said, if you want to be, if you want to be changed and transformed into the victorious man of God that he's called you to be, then I'm going to lead you in a prayer. And out of those 40 men, 36 stood up. And they said, I want to be transformed. So I'm so excited in the opportunity to come and join you all. We're going to have the time of our life, and I don't want you to miss this. This is a rare opportunity. I'm getting ready to go to Peru right from, from your church. I'm going to take off to Peru. But you know what? God's given us an opportunity here to impact not only your family, but your church and your community. So come join us Saturday at Man Up. God bless you all.